Well, alright everyone, depending on when you're watching this, you either just installed iPadOS 18 public beta or you're watching this in September or in the fall and you installed iPadOS 18, the regular edition, and now you are able to use iOS 18 and iPadOS 18's Notes application in all of its brand new features. So the Notes application to me is one of Apple's most underrated, I guess, quote unquote, free applications. You need to be in the Apple ecosystem to use it, but it does everything that you would want it to do from its simplest form and even some more intricate things like being able to collaborate in real time, being able to organize things, have collapsible titles, which we'll touch on in a little bit. So the notes application is exactly what you need it to be. It can be simple when you need it to be or more intricate if you need it to do a little bit more. So in this video, we're gonna be going over all the brand new features that iPadOS 18 has given the notes application because it made it a lot more powerful and hopefully you guys learned something. Let's get into it. So let's hop right into this video, everybody. I do wanna preface this by saying I am using an M4 iPad Pro in the Apple Notes app, and I am on iOS 18 a public beta. So if you installed iPadOS 18 public beta on your device, then you'll be able to use these features. If not, it'll come out later this fall. And from my knowledge, everything that I'm gonna show you with iPadOS 18, as long as your iPad supports this version of iPadOS 18, it will work across devices. The only difference you might see is because I have the Apple Pencil Pro, I do have that shortcut functionality, but outside of that, it's gonna be exactly the same. But let's open up a brand new note. Let's tap on the Apple Pencil here. And the first thing I wanna talk about is going to be Smart Scribe. So Smart Scribe is now implemented into iPadOS 18. And basically what it does is if you have pretty terrible handwriting like I do myself, it'll start to correct your handwriting and make it more legible while still keeping the same kind of format, feel, and look of your handwriting. So if I start to say, You can see that in real time, it's actually changing with the way that it looks to not only match what it's already been looking like, but then also make it a lot more legible. This is gonna be great, especially if you're somebody that collaborates in real time in Apple Notes and you have terrible handwriting like I do myself, like I mentioned. So now people that are collaborating with me in real time are able to then see the corrected handwriting and make it a little bit easier to see and a little bit easier to read. So if I do this again, as you can see, I want a cookie. It did change it a little bit, but even here, it kind of kept the same kind of language and form factor of what my handwriting looks like. So I think this is gonna be extremely useful. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to understand handwritten notes and things like that. Overall, I think SmartScribe is going to be something that should be implemented also on more native applications, but it's starting off here in the Apple Notes app. Unfortunately, it does not work in the Freeform app quite yet, but that'll probably come soon. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be Math Notes, but before we get into Math Notes, let's do a quick word from our sponsor, Paperlike, who's been supporting the channel for years now. Paperlike was one of the first iPad accessories that I'd ever tried. The moment that I got my 2018 iPad Pro, I knew I'd have to get the screen protector and it never disappointed. So now, five years later, Paperlike has just released their new version 2.1 or their Swiss Paperlike. Paperlike's proprietary nano dots are tiny micro beads that add resistance and improve haptic feedback when using the Apple Pencil on your iPad, mimicking the feel of writing on paper. The new nano texture display on the 2024 iPad Pros does reduce glare, but doesn't actually enhance the haptic feedback for the Apple Pencil. So for a paper-like feel and better Apple Pencil experience, paper-like is still the best choice. But they recently decided to bring their iPad accessory expertise and create a new premium folio case for the iPad Pro and iPad Air. Their new charcoal folio case aims to bring users the look and feel of your favorite notebook, but for your iPad. My favorite part is how it actually connects via magnets instead of having a shell or a case to mount it. All you do is slap your iPad on the magnets to hold it sturdily in place. As you can see, my scientific shake test lets you know just how strong those magnets are. If you're looking for a tri-fold folio case that protects your iPad, can act as a stand and a canvas, is premium and lightweight, you definitely gotta give this one a try. Click the first link in the description below to check it out. It really helps support the 9to5Mac channel. So thank you to Paperlife for partnering up with 9to5Mac. And now, back to the video. So with the addition of the new calculator application, we got something called Math Notes. And Math Notes essentially lets you write out an equation, two plus two equals, and then it'll give you a second. It's gonna look at it, learn what it is, and then you press solve. And then in your handwriting as well, the same way that SmartScribe works, it'll solve that problem in real time. Now again, it takes a little bit longer inside the notes application because this is technically not the math notes section, but it still works nonetheless. And again, it works in real time as well. So if I had a parentheses here and then maybe do a four, it'll start to look at that in real time and it'll turn it into 16. And then if I divide this by eight, in real time, it should change that up to be two. So as you can see, it is working as intended and it doesn't just stop at simple arithmetic problems, which is great to see. So for instance, if I wanna graph something, you know, the traditional y equals x plus three, it's gonna wait a second, it's gonna figure out what it's doing, and then it's gonna insert the graph. So you tap on there, it'll insert the graph. I can move it over, make it smaller, make it bigger, and it's just something that I can play with after the fact. Then you have a couple other options up here, like you press this one, it lets you know what the expression is or what the equation is. You can duplicate it, you can trash it, and then you have your ellipses as well, 
which lets you cut, copy, paste, duplicate, and delete it. But what's awesome about this is that I can actually change it in real time. So if I want to divide this by four, it'll change the graph as well. So the graph now got a little bit more horizontally inclined. So I think this is a great way to not only get your work done and learn things, but also if you're a tutor, this is the absolute game changer. So if you're tutoring kids, I definitely recommend jumping on math notes as quickly as possible, but it also works with other equations. So if I want to do y equals x squared and get a little parabola going, it'll wait a second, it's going to insert graph or I can add to an existing graph. So in the same exact graph, I now have two different equations and two different lines in real time. Now I can add another one here, so plus four, and it should move that graph up a little bit. And if I divide this by four also, it should make it even thinner or thicker actually. Again, it's been a little while since I've been in calculus class or an algebra class, but it's very cool that we can now do this inside of the notes application. Another awesome aspect of the math notes inside the notes application is gonna be the ability to set your variables and then use those variables to actually solve a problem. So I'm gonna create some right now and we'll come back. So now as you can see here, I actually set a few variables. So I set my X value, my Y, and my V value to four, one, and five. And then I put these variables right here as X plus Y plus V. And if I tap on the little equal sign, I'll press solve, and it should add those up, and it does, and it adds it up to 10. So that just gives you an idea of some of the things that you can do by formatting and creating your own variables and actually giving value to those variables. So this works with physics problems and anything in between. One thing that is missing is being able to solve algebra equations. So if I do X, plus four equals one, you can press solve, and it still does not actually work. It kind of realizes what's going on, it can actually understand what I'm writing, but there is a syntax error it reads there and it doesn't actually solve the expression where this should be negative three. So again, I'm sure it's learning and it'll get better, but overall math notes is something that's very impressive inside the notes application. And then what's cool is that in the same light with SmartScribe, with these equations, and then also with live text, we're able to then actually have a currency converter that you can use with your handwriting. So for instance, if I do 100 euros, that equals, you give it a second to understand what's going on, we're gonna solve that, and it's 108 and 96 cents USD. And then another thing that's cool is if I tap on here, a little scroll wheel shows up where I can actually change it. So if I wanna to go to 120, or 119, or 121, it'll give me that value in real time as well, which I think is so, so cool, and I can do it vice versa. And I believe it'll work with other things. So if you have a measurement that's, let's say, 100 meters, and I want to convert that to something else, we'll solve it. That's 328 feet and one inch. And again, the same thing applies here. And I get my little scroll wheel and go to 120, then I'm there and it kind of changes in real time. So overall, Math Notes has been amazing to see. So the next new addition to iPadOS 18, the Notes application, is something that we've been wanting for a while. So if you click on this little paperclip up top, you have a bunch of different menu options and tools like being able to scan text, scan documents, take photos. But a new one that we got is the ability to not only record audio, so of course, this is what it looks like to record audio. I'm recording it in real time. When you're done with it, you just pause it, you press done, and then you get a nice little card right here which allows you to play it back. So I can play it back right here. But what's new about this is that if I go back to the paperclip, press on record audio, and then press on this little caption on the top right hand corner. So now what's gonna happen is that yes, it's gonna record the audio itself, but it's also going to live caption and live dictate. So if I start recording, you will see that instead of getting the waveform, you actually get the dictation of what I'm saying. And it actually works extremely well. It, for the most part, I would say 98% accurate. Let's see if it even picks that up. As you can see that it does. We pause it, then we press done here. So not only do you have the audio recording, but you actually tap on each section of this transcript to start that recording. So right now you can see it's at a second 59, and you can see that the will is actually highlighted. Now if I tap on here, it's gonna start from there, and it's gonna actually fast forward to the 11 second mark. So that's really cool to see. And if I grab this, I can actually highlight it all. I can copy it, translate it, or share it, or also find selections. So if I wanna translate this, I'll press continue. We'll translate it to Spanish. It's gonna translate it to Spanish, and I can copy that translation. I can press done. I can go down here. I can tap it. I can paste it. And now we have the translation in Spanish. So again, the sky's the limit with this feature. So now we have live caption and live dictation built directly into the notes application with audio cards as well. I think this is a nice little cherry on top for the notes application. And now the last few things that was added to iPadOS 18 in the notes application is more on the formatting side. So you can see right here, this word in Spanish is highlighted in like this purplish pink color. But if I wanna actually highlight something, which surprisingly you were not able to highlight things before, which is very interesting, but let's open this up. Let's highlight this section. We'll press this little formatting button. And then you see this little circle right here, which lets you decide what color you wanna highlight it in. So if I wanna highlight it in this mint color, I can now do that. So it gives us the ability to now highlight any text inside of the notes application. So again, more of a formatting thing, but this is gonna be great 
again, for the collaboration side of things, if you are somebody that collaborates in real time using the notes application. And now the final piece of this formatting puzzle, as you can see, we now have a little carrot next to this heading right here. And basically what we have now is collapsible lists or collapsible sections, depending on which heading that you're using. So this right here is a heading, heading, I guess, for that type of category. If I press on this little carrot, it's gonna open up to a subheading. And if I press on this little carrot, it's gonna open up into a regular type of text and font. So in order to actually get this done, it's a little bit tricky. It isn't super obvious that this is even a feature that's available, but you're gonna wanna go into your formatting. Let's say you wanna add a title, we'll call it hello. And then underneath that title, you're gonna press return and we'll say test down here. And then we're gonna actually select a different heading. So we're gonna to go to heading and we're gonna press test here. We're gonna press on that. And now you can actually see that a carrot shows up right next to the hello. And again, it's in cascading form. So the smaller you go in increments in terms of the type of formatting, the more it's gonna hide. So you can see here, if I go down here, we'll press this A, the formatting, we'll do a subheading and we'll type in hello. And then we'll do another regular body heading and we'll type in my name. So then you press return and you can see that each one of these is gonna have their own little carrot besides the last and final one. So if I click on this one and I can hide it, then I can hide this one. Then I can go here and hide this one. And there you can see that I am hiding everything behind this hello and we can continue to open it up which is cool to see. So I can see this being very beneficial for people that want to organize some notes specifically and want to be able to then categorize things based on heading and titles and inside of certain categorized lists and things like that. So overall, a great addition. I just wish it was a little bit more obvious on how this is done and I'm sure Apple will fix that. One final little thing they added in the notes application, or I guess a way to access the notes application is if you go back to your control center and actually press this little plus sign and we're going to add a control, we're going to go into search, we're going to type in note and now we have notes and then we have a quick note. So if I wanna add these two, I can press that one. As you can see, the quick note is right there. So if I tap on this, it'll automatically bring me to a blank page. And then again, if I go in here, it's going to automatically bring me to just the most recent thing that I was using which is the next quick note. And then the final thing I do wanna show off is more so on the Apple Pencil Pro side, which is pretty much that now we just have this nice little shortcut, which is if we squeeze, we get this new little canvas right here or this palette for you to be able to quickly select, you know, font sizes and then press it again to erase it if I want to. I've actually gotten pretty handy with this. I use it more than the actual regular palette. But again, this is only useful for people that have an Apple Pencil Pro, and again, the M4 iPad Pro or the M2 iPad Air. For the regular Apple Pencil 2, everything else that I mentioned will be available, just not this little shortcut right here that brings up this palette and gives you a couple other different options. But other than that, the Notes app is going to be identical across the board. Let's finish up this video, everybody, and hopefully you learned something new. So that was just about do for this video, everybody. Leave a comment down below of your favorite new feature to iPadOS 18. I do plan on making maybe an entire walkthrough tutorial video on the Apple Notes app and the current state of it because, like I mentioned in the very beginning, the Apple Notes app is the most underrated application, or at least one of the most underrated applications in the Apple ecosystem because it works how you want it to when you need it to. It syncs across all of your devices. You can use it on your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac, and everything just works seamlessly as it's intended to. And again, Apple keeps adding these nice quality of life features that not only makes your life a little bit easier, but then also kind of cannibalizes or gets rid of the need to have any third-party applications. Now, there are some other third-party applications that people absolutely need, and there's maybe a couple of feature sets in those applications. So leave a comment down below of what those features are that are missing from Apple Notes, even down to the iPadOS 18 point, just so I know exactly what other people are looking for in a Notes application. But that will do it for this video. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below. Big shout out to Paperlike for sponsoring this video and always supporting the channel. And if you guys wanna watch more videos like this one, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video right here. And if not, I picked a video out for you right here. So until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace.